Cleaning the toilet is the absolute worst job in the world. So here are some products that make it a little bit more enjoyable. That's a stretch, but these products are pretty cool because I find toilet bowl cleaners so disgusting. The fact that we reuse them and don't have disposable everything is beyond me. I can't believe I'm talking about toilets right now, but I'm just trying to help you guys out because I hate doing this. I found these toilet wands by Clorox. They're pretty cool because you can just dispose of them once you're done, which is so much more sanitary. Then I got the Scrubbing Bubbles Bathroom Grime Fighter. It kills 99.9% .9 of viruses by coronavirus. Then I cleaned everything up. Don't forget to do the back, front, all of the sides of the toilet. I think Brittany said it best. You're toxic and I'm addicted to you, which is how I feel for my cleaning products. So don't come for me in the comments saying how horrible these are for me because I already know. Then I got this cool stamp thingy that keeps your toilet smelling fresh and good for up to eight weeks. And it's really satisfying to apply. Well, that was definitely weird. I feel like we're best friends at this point. So like and follow for more. A quick little cleaning tip. So this is one of my baking sheets. It's a very old one. So it has, you know, you see the burnt on that just won't scrub off no matter how much you soak it in Dawn or any kind of cleaner almost. So this is what I'm gonna try and use. When I try to use this stuff, so a lot of people are using this and leaving it on for quite some time. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now I recommend doing this somewhere outside if you can. I don't really recommend doing it inside. I think it even says kind of in a well ventilated area. Um, even though it's oven cleaner because this does have a lot of chemicals. It does smell funky So you just want to make sure that you're safe Give it a good spray. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit. All right, it's been sitting for about 30 minutes So now I'm gonna try and wipe it Holy crap <laughs> So here's what it looks like after one try. I think this did great. I'm gonna do it again. It should be clean Hi guys, so today I'm going to tell you how to clean our keys. We have three different types of keys that can be used to open doors, close doors, this one has a stylus tip used for touch screens, or you can use them to push buttons. To clean the keys, all you'll use is the light sweep. You'll turn it on, run it over anything that you want to clean, and the UV light will kill all bacteria, germs, and viruses. It's rechargeable, so all you need to do is throw it in your purse and you're good to go.
This is the secret to making my house and car smell amazing. In Target in the laundry aisle, I bought the Method Fragrance Booster in Ginger Mango. I put it in a big Ziploc bag and hammered it out to release the fragrance. Then I took a funnel and poured it into little sachet bags that I got at Michael's. Then I tied them all really tightly and started to place them around the house. I put one behind my couch, one under my car seat. I put some in my pajama drawer and in my linen closet, the kids' sock drawers, and in their stinky shoes. All right, guys, so part three of grout cleaning. Thank you to everyone who nicely told me I had the wrong toilet bowl cleaner. Thank you guys seriously so much. So I bought the correct one, and I also bought a toothbrush. So now with your recommendations, we're going to start this grout cleaning. So I'm in my bathroom, and the grout is, I think, pretty dirty. So we're just going to take the Lysol guy. Woo! A lot comes out. I'm just going to quickly take the toothbrush and just get it in the grout because I messed up. So there we go, this is in my bathroom. So I'm also gonna do one in my living room, but I'm only gonna do half just to see, I don't know why I got cut off, but I wanna see if it really works. And oh my God, it's already starting to bubble. Woo, I am excited. I'm gonna wait 30 minutes and yeah, stay tuned for part four. I prefer to clean my shower with DIY all natural ingredients, but if you prefer store-bought, then Barkeeper's Friend is a really good option. So this particular shower needs a lot of help in the cleaning department, so we're going to turn to Barkeeper's Friend to do the job. Mm -hmm. So start by just sprinkling the powder all over the surface of your wet shower and bathtub surface. Depending on the severity of your staining, you can either let it sit for 15 minutes or just get scrubbing right away. So you might have to repeat this process more than once, but watch this. Be sure to like this video if you found this helpful.